Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to import your Blender model including materials into Rhino. There are many model options available in polygonal model libraries. You can use these models in your projects. Let's start by opening our Blender file. Select the object we will import and join it. Firstly, we will open the UV map of this object. In UV editing tab, after selecting the object and entering edit mode, we will select all surfaces with the A key and use the U shortcut to create a smart UV map. As we can see, the UV map is now open. This is sufficient for us. We will bake the materials on this object using a single map. Let's open the shading tab and start by baking the diffuse map. We will duplicate the image texture node that we will add to the materials of the object so that the map can detect that material. We add the map we will bake using the image texture node. Creating a blank texture image by clicking on new. As we mentioned before, we are copying to other materials. Let's make sure that our render engine in the properties panel is set to cycles. Let's change it to Diffuse. First, let's select the object and the node and say Bake. It may take some time, let's be patient. We can see the baked version of the diffuse map in the editor panel on the left. Let's save it by selecting save as. The other map we will use is roughness, let's also bake that. And let's say save as again. Export the object in a format by selecting the object. Make sure that we have selected the object materials. Let's import it into the Rhino program. As you can see, the dubs file came in just as we wanted in terms of material. Export it in day format to import it into the SketchUp program. Don't forget to check only the selected UV map options. You can import it into the SketchUp program. It looks good. To reduce topology lines, we can use smooth edges. Now it looks better. Now we will try to import multiple objects as materialized. This time we will use the FBX format. Let's select the scene that we will import.
We will export the selected scene from Blender as an FBX file. Here, the important thing is to copy the file extensions of the textures. Do not forget that we will enable this feature. Let's open our Rhino file and select our file. As FBX and the import optine. model has opened. Let's rotate it and examine it. As you can see, some textures have incorrect scale. Let's adjust the scale section in the texture panel here. Now it looks good. Let's check it again visually and topologically as well. It looks quite good. Now we will export the same scene in day format and import it into SketchUp. When exporting, it is important that the only UV selected file option is active. Let's import our day export file into our SketchUp file. Again, the texture scales came out wrong. We can adjust the texture scales for SketchUp. Now it looks better. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. LG Day and FBX are the most commonly used export formats. And the features of the software we import them into differ. We have conducted experiments by importing and exporting models that have been modeled in Blender. You can easily import the models you want to use in your project. We have added the links to the models used in the video in the description box below. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.